Because the genie in the last game, as, as much as it was threatening, and especially because of its childlike nature, you know, I, I think that um, it was, you know, very much like Boo and Bobbity, sadly. <laughs> you know, it really does look like Majin Boo. But, uh, you know, the genie really wasn't, um, uh, you know, as much as it was a threat, and, you know, and you were kind of scared of it, it didn't really do anything. You know, it was like it, you know, it destroyed some stuff and then it waited in its castle forever because it was fucking bored or something. Where in Dark Cloud 2, you know, we have Griffin and, you know, you have Gaspard, one of his henchmen, and they're constantly causing trouble for us after the Rainbow Butterfly incident. And even then, he was part of the problem with the Rainbow Butterfly thing because, you know, there's evil going on in the world and it, it was stirring up the, you know, the Rainbow Butterfly's, you know, feelings of being a monster. So, I think it works out really well here. But that's just my own personal opinion. Um, I don't think there's any, you know, good news about Dark Cloud 2. Oh, uh, I found out something inter interesting, and I'm going to be posting it on YouTube for you guys. Um, when I did the uh, the post-commentary episode, um, the, the post-commentary had to do with the, um, the post-commentary of Dark Cloud... Uh, I forget what episode it was, but it was the one right before I did the huge uh, training up session, if I remember correctly, and I played all of Dark Cloud 1's music. Uh, Dark Cloud 1 and 2 actually did get their hands on their own... They actually had their own official soundtracks. They... Both of them were Japan only. And, um, the soundtracks were, um, at least from what I can find. Um, Dark Cloud 1 is almost... In, I could not find a copy of Dark Cloud 1, sadly. I really wanted to get it, my hands on a physical copy of that, but even on Amazon I couldn't find a damn thing about it. Dark Cloud 2, however, you can find yourself a copy of the music. And from what I, th what I think of what I remember reading from the, the trivia on the Dark Cloud uh, Wikipedia, um, the soundtrack actually had a little bit different music because obviously putting it on a PlayStation 2, you know, not, you know there's a lot of soundtracks here and they're not going to sound exactly how they want them to, so you know they had to change them a bit. But apparently this soundtrack, or at least from what I remember hearing, the soundtrack in the game actually... Um, the, the soundtracks were changed a bit and apparently there was also an unused song in the... Soundtrack. Now I'm really interested in that. I'm curious what the un what the unused uh, soundtrack is. Um, there's a website I go to specifically now for game music, and I try not to do anything that I can buy or, you know, if there's music that I really like but I don't want to buy because it's too fucking expensive. And I'm talking about like Mario Galaxy. What is it? I think Mario Galaxy. They actually sold the soundtracks, and it's like they're rare now, so it's like 200 fucking bucks for them, which is ridiculous. You know, uh, the, the copies of Dark Cloud uh, 2 that I found, even a new copy was like... Uh, it, it was still a Japanese import, but it was like, what, 20... It was like 20-something bucks, you know, maybe up to 30, you know? And, you know, I can deal with that. You know, it, it's still pricey, don't get me wrong, but it's still a hell of a lot better than, you know, having to spend fucking $200 on a legit soundtrack. Did we get the Ragnarok already? Looks like we got them all. Hmm. I don't remember getting my hands on the Magmarok. I don't know, maybe I'm just caught talking to myself. Red Seal is broken? Okay, that's good at least. No. Yep, this last guy had the Magma Rock. Okay. Oh, hey, we actually have ourselves an easy uh, Sphita thing here. Hopefully I can do it. Uh, the, I, I was hoping that this area would be better with Sphita. Because, I don't, like I said, I never played Sphita before, so I don't really know how the areas work. But with these holes everywhere, it's basically the underground. Oh, no. There's only one to go, so. Uh, fuck me. Okay, I'm going to try to do my best to focus on using the... Uh... Might just have to say fuck it and do a spin thing here. Oh, I'm gonna give it my best. If I get it, I get it. Nope. Damn. You know, and it's like, how the fuck was I supposed to get my hands on that, you know? Actually, what I probably could have done is I could have done a, a little right thing and a top spin as well to smooth into it. But what do you do? So, anyway, how much time are I? 22 minutes, damn. Oh, and this is another- it looks like this is another dark area, too. That really pisses me off. That means I gotta do some, uh, uh, editing and post, and I really hate that. <laughs> but, what do you do? Anyway, oh yeah, no, gotta switch to it. Actually, no, no, I don't think we did- I think we did Monica last time, so we'll- we'll, we'll show Max's animation with this. Just because it's more fun that way. Now, what happens if one of those are broken? That's my question. <laughs> so, uh, I, I think there's something funny I could really talk about here. So, um, when I played games, especially a game this hard, you know, I really had this motivation to beat it. 
but I never really wanted to put that much effort into it, especially when, you know, things like leveling up can be very hard to understand when I was a kid. And I, when I played Dark Cloud 2, I'd always be like, oh, you know, I, I would go to a specific spot like these, and I would be like, oh, I hope I have to only go this far to beat this area in the game. But when I came to the, the Mount Gondor, I'm like, yeah, this isn't gonna be it. <laughs> you know, I gotta go all the way the fuck around. <laughs> I thought it was pretty funny. Alrighty then, so uh, this area, I want to show you guys the Rypod. I'm getting my hopes up that this area will be a little bit better for Svita, because I really do want to get that uh, party member. I mean, I still gotta do some fishing, finny f frenzy crap, but... You know, overall, I, I, I would really like to f focus on getting my hands on a better uh, care. Oh no, I didn't level up the Rypod. God damn it, I didn't think about that at all. Because the... Oh, hey, we got ourselves a magic gun. This gun is actually kind of cool. I can show off the way it shoots. Let me just see it real fast. Here we go. This gun's kind of cool, actually. Yeah, it's just a regular gun. It's called the magic gun, but it's a regular gun. Not really much else to say. I think it evolves, because I think out of the two weapons you can get, I think one of them is a machine gun. And I think that one evolves into the machine gun. Um, the machine gun is really cool, though do not do a, um... Really? Time? You gotta be fucking kidding me. Alright, where's my thing? I should have a thr yep, throbbing chair. Fuck off. But, um, I totally blanked on what the fuck I was going to say. Um, I think I was going to talk about the, um, oh, uh, yeah, I did not train up the Rypod at all because of the whole uh, thing, and I did not, when I finally fucking got here, I forgot to talk to Cedric, so the Rypod's going to be a little low on stuff. Uh, luckily we got enough fuel and whatnot to not have it be an issue, but still. Anyway, this Nova Cannon kicks fucking ass. Look at these, even these monsters here, boom, dead, out. You know, get the fuck out of here. So, uh, yeah, you know, complete, you know, if you're having troubles in this area, uh, get the Rypod out and start kicking some damn ass. You know? I'm gonna refuel this thing just to play it safe. Because remember that you do take damage in this game, and, uh, you, um, just to play it safe, if you take damage and the Rypod breaks, you can't just fix it all of a sudden. You have to go back and talk to Cedric to do that. Which, you know, is actually kind of a pain when you think about it, because if you have to do it with Cedric, um... I think it's a real big pain because if you have to do it with um, Cedric, you know, if he closes off to you until you go into the next area and then your Rypod dies, you have to go into the next area to repair the Rypod, and I think that's kind of bull. But anyway, enjoy all the experience that the Rypod has because of um, I wasn't able to use it up at all. What do you do? So anyway, um, sadly I haven't gotten the Geostone yet. That's all I need to get the hell out of here. Got some more pain. Okay, that works. I do like these skis, by the way. I believe we've got ourselves something different for the, um... Oh, didn't mean to do that. Um, I believe we have gotten our hands on something different for the, um... Some new equipment that I didn't actually sew for Cedric yet. I can do that at the end of this uh, episode whenever I decide to end it. But, um... I also want to be getting my hands because there's actually another, I, at this point in the game, I think actually since maybe even the third area, we can get our hands on another backpack and it's going to be able to hold more stuff. And another thing which I, is actually pretty cool, you can actually get a new body for the Rypod. And I believe that just basically increases defense and whatnot. You know, nothing too special, but still pretty awesome. Come on, Sticky Joe. Okay, I, I can destroy you too. You know, the Rypod needs his goodies. You know, eating up all these uh, monster powers. Oh, oh fuck, he's... He's taking some heavy damage against these guys. But, uh, yeah, we got ourselves some new upgrades coming up soon. And I'm gonna have to look up how to do those, because I believe both of these is things I'm gonna have to make if... I don't think I wanna... I think I'll actually still wanna make them, even if Cedric sells them. Because, keep in mind, even if Cedric sells you something, you have to waste EXP for that. And you would rather get your hands on more shield parts, more core upgrades, all that kind of stuff. I think that works out a lot better than trying to do the, um... I think it's better to get your hands on doing that than spending your hard-earned points, you know, on things that you can make yourself. I mean, maybe... Uh, well, no, that doesn't even make any sense. Because you can make things a lot earlier in the game than you can uh, sell them. Or than you can buy them for. So it, it really makes no sense to waste your time on, you know, buying experience for those. Unless you have to do, like, a, a quick play run of this game or something. But e even then, you know, I... 
I would recommend keeping the Rypod and leveling up it up as much as possible because doing so means that you get uh, more money and more, or not more money. Doing so means that you have a very powerful monster on your goddamn team, and I think that works out better than uh, you know having Max or Monica who well who are strong, but the Rypod really is just so much better. Especially like as you can see here with the Nova Cannon, he can kick a lot of ass. So yeah, I don't know how he works end game though, honestly, or the special something in this game. I don't know how well he actually works there, because I never really trained for that. Uh, kind of like Dark Cloud 1, the special area that we're going to go to later is just something that I don't really do on my own. Oh no, we got a blue seal. I guess I should have waited until then to use the Rypod. Yeah, yeah I think I'm going to switch to the Rypod here too then. Alright, actually at 28 minutes. Damn. <laughs> I am running out of a lot of shit to talk about, so. Well, uh... I will see how much Max can do against some of these monsters. If he can't do well at all, I'll just switch to the Rypod. So there we go. Just don't let Max die. <laughs> Alright then, so Griffin Soldier. Oh, motherfucker, that's right. Oh, too much XP, no, go away. <laughs> Now, you know what, I mean, I probably don't have to worry about too much. I will probably level up these uh, weapons a little bit past 10. Especially if, like, as we can see here, uh, Max's uh, weapon evolves too far, but what do you do? But so far I'm not seeing anything too different. Actually, there's a lot of monsters here. I'll probably switch to the Rypod just for convenience sake. But, um, I want, I really want to see whether or not the Heat Fairy's here yet. Because I, I, I don't know if it's at this point in the game if we can fight the Heat Fairy. If so, I would like to, but if I can't, then fuck. Yeah, this thing's pretty cool. Uh, you guys can't really see how this thing works. It basically just kind of opens itself up and shoots blasts out. Got a lot of fucking uh, rifle wolves here. Which is funny, because Max has the hardest fucking time beating these guys. I don't know why. Max used to be so good at fighting certain monsters, but now, you know, or at least being able to switch off from other things, and it just doesn't work here. By the way, here's a palette swap of the uh, creatures we saw at the Starlight Canyon. Look at all these experience points. Nummy, nummy. Oh yeah, I forgot, we also have a stupid... We have a fish in this area in the game, like, why the fuck is there a fish here? You know, I don't even care if it's a pallet swap. Actually, it even makes less sense, because it's not like it's a pallet swap that was needed at all. Or, or it, sorry, I don't know if you could hear me. It's not really that it was a pallet swap that was even needed at all, because did we really need to get our hands? Okay. I can skip to the next area, and I'm going to do so, and it's going to be faster to do with Max. So Max, run and don't fucking stop. But, um, the, um, I think it's really funny because... God, I totally fucking blanked. Damn it, I had something I was gonna say and I totally fucking blanked. Nope, can't do that much damage. Max, run. <laughs> I totally blanked it. Oh, the, the pallet swaps, yeah. Sorry. <laughs> Thank you for reminding me, you stupid thing. But it's like, you know, usually, you know, you do a pallet swap to switch things up. You know, you even, you know, to switch things up because, oh, you know, we had this cool monster design earlier on. You know, let's kind of use it again. I think that's cool. I, I don't really mind pallet swaps. But we just fought that monster in the very last area. Why do that to us now? <laughs> and that is the blocked off area that we've seen in every area past the uh, the underground channel. So we can't do anything there yet. So let's just keep moving on. So yeah, this is actually a pretty fast one as well. I'm actually pretty happy. We're finishing these things pretty fast. Uh-oh. We got some audio decent going on, guys. Yeah, we got bad audio decent going on. Okay, um, we're gonna end the video here. I think I'm going to start up another session just so I can continue on. But we're gonna have to end the video here just for the sake of the audio. If the uh, audio desync is very bad in this video, I do apologize. I will try my best to kind of fix that. But I can only do so much. So anyway, I do hope you guys have enjoyed this session of uh, Dark Cloud 2 a little bit short. But uh, in the next one, we're just gonna keep going on through this uh, area. So I hope you guys have enjoyed. I will catch you guys next time. This is Mike Jr. the Second, signing out.